Temple University, Patricio Lugo, 30 and 7 uh, season record. His opponent, Alex Koser from South Dakota State University, with a 27 and 8 season record. Very similar records. Patricio Lugo from Edinburgh is the eighth seed in the tournament. Out of the EWL, Lugo hits a single, head outside single with a high crotch. Changes off to a double, knocks him down and scores, takes the lead. Lugo leading 2 0. Over Koser. He's got him in account for back points. J.R. Johnson only had one count. Says no back points. Lugo riding tough on top. Patricio Lugo, the eighth seed, is from Homestead, Florida. Wrestled for South Dade High School, Dade County, Florida. Patricio Lugo, eighth seed with a 30 and 7 season record. His opponent, Alex Koser, South Dakota State, is from Wagner, South Dakota. Wagner High School is season record 27 and 8. He was fourth place out of the Big 12. So two top 49 pounders, under 49 pounders. Koser scores in neutral, cuts the lead to 2 to 1. Lugo has 38 seconds riding time. We're halfway through the first period. Lugo leads 2-1 to one in the strength of a takedown. Coaster from South Dakota State, we mentioned, is a 27-8 season record. Coaster in the black singlet trimmed in blue and gold with the green ankle pants. Lugo wearing the white singlet, very stylish singlet with the Scottish tartan on the side. The Edinburgh Fighting Scots. We have the Jackrabbits from South Dakota State versus the Fighting Scots from Edinburgh. Patricio Lugo tries to horse him over. He tries to muscle him. Goes to blocks him off. Lugo in again on a single, not able to convert. Lugo very short and stocky, low center of gravity, able to penetrate, change his levels, and get in deep. Ten seconds left in period one, Lugo leading two to one, riding time 38 seconds in the direction of Edinburgh. Koser takes another shot, he's probably trying to get started too far away from his opponent. He's going to fix the headgear of Koser, second period is going to start, Choice goes to green. Green's going to defer to red. Red's going to go bottom to start period two. Patricio Lugo on his left shoulder and arm is a very impressive tribal art. Body art. Whistle starts, the second period begins. Lugo tries to stand and peel hands. Kosu rides tough on top of the thigh pride, tries to trap the far arm. Kosu riding tough on top of Lugo. Trying to kill the riding time and make it go in his direction. Coaster has a leg in. Lugo trying to peel the leg out and get a short sit here. Green in control. Lugo needs to explode off the bottom. Let's see what he does here to come out. He's trying to pull the leg out, the leg that's laced, the grapevine leg. Lugo goes to a short stand. He's going to come out for at least one, if not two, here. 
He does drive across and gets the reversal. So Lugo leads 4-1 to one after the reversal. He's trying to kill Koser's riding time. Koser gains an escape to cut the lead to 4-2. to 4-2. to two. Riding time not a factor. We're in the second period. 30 seconds remain in the period. Action on mat number 8. Bout number 62 on your bracket sheet. Lugo from Edinburgh, Koser from South Dakota State University. Lugo trying to horse him with double unders. Koser blocks his hands and tries to maintain his position, not let him penetrate. Ten seconds left in the second period. Nice duck under attempt by Koser, blocked off by Lugo. Lugo goes to a front headlock. Second period ends, score four to two, Lugo leads. Chris Bono, the North South Dakota coach, tells Koser to take the bottom. Good match, good match on mat number eight. Koser from South Dakota State, Lugo from Edinburgh University of Pennsylvania. Koser cuts loose for a neutral. Able to cut the arm free. Score four to three. Riding time probably will not be a factor. There's 11 seconds to green at the moment. Nice low single by Lugo. Changes to a double. Tries to drive across and block him, knock him off his base. Closer latches around the leg, tries to funk him out. We're neutral. South Dakota's coaches are yelling for Koser to get height, to get his head up, which is the key here to score. Koser scores a takedown, takes a 5-4 lead. There's a minute to wrestle, and he's building riding time. He could get a minute. So North Dakota State, or South Dakota State, excuse me, is leading by a point. Lugo trying to roll out, trying to come free. He's close to getting his hips out. Still green control. Very close to reversing here is Lugo. Let's see if he's able to come free. Koser's latched on. Getting riding time. 30 seconds to wrestle. He's got 10 seconds to build a riding time point. Oh, Lugo almost out. Not able to get out. Koser drops down on both legs. J.R. Johnson watching the action. Not in the count, however. Tim Flynn, the coach from Edinburgh, was at the table, and I think he's going to question that very thing. Why was he not counting when he was dropped on the leg? I don't know if they can review that or not. Coach wants the official to start to look at the video review and see where he should have started counting when he was wrapped around the legs. So we have a video review on mat number eight. There's three seconds left on the clock. North Dakota, or South Dakota State, excuse me, leads by one point. Riding time is a factor. Stands, it comes neutral. Ties the score at 5-5. Riding time's gonna win for South Dakota State. Our winner on mat number one, or mat eight, Koser.